Cam McGuire here with forward Drew Callen. Drew, your rookie season in the books, and what a year for you it was, third on the team in goals. And for you, when you look back on it, maybe off to a little bit of a slow start, but you started to pick things up about halfway through the year, and uh, you ended on a great foot. Can you kind of tell us about uh, your year as a whole and kind of the development that you saw in your first pro season? Yeah, just coming in, being a rookie, you know, um, just kind of learning the ropes a little bit at the start. Um, but once I got a little confidence in me, once I, you know, got that first goal, got a couple points there, and just just rolled the confidence and chipped in when I could the rest of the year. Couple points, 21 over your last 38 games, including 13 goals. Uh, you look back, one of the most recent games, that overtime winner against Maine. Boy, that was a thriller. Would you say uh, your best goal of the season? I think so. I didn't. I didn't even think it was going in. So I just kind of threw it, whole play at the net. So was that but, something you you practiced before, one hand on the stick, or was it kind of just spur of the moment and kind of just let it go from there? Absolutely not. I was like, all right, hopefully I can catch the goalie off guard here and throw one at him, and it snuck by him. So yeah, that was definitely one I'll one I'll remember this year. Drew, not only on the ice were you a big part of the Worcester Railers, but off the ice as well. Whether it was helping out at various community events, celebrity bartending, skate to success, uh, yet a helping hand it feels like on the ice, off the ice as well. Can you kind of tell us about getting out in the in the Worcester community this season? Yeah, yeah, it feels good to do that for sure. You know, we have some of the best fans, the Booster Club, you know, they all chip in and make things easy for us. So it feels good for us, me especially, to go out there and see those people and connect with them off the ice. And I guess looking back to last year, you had a brief stint after your senior year at Bentley. Um, yeah, kind of a couple games there to allow your game to develop, but how do you see your game develop from game one to the end this year? Yeah, definitely, definitely thought I took some strides uh, all over the ice, you know, defensively and offensively, and um, last year, you know, just kind of came in and, you know, didn't really play much, but this year, you know, got to play some special teams and stuff, so definitely the experience this year that I got, you know, playing you know, and every sort of facet of the game will, will help me going forward for sure. Middleton, Wisconsin native, you, you headed back to Dairyland this summer, or what, what's the off season look like for you? Yeah, definitely uh, go home to Wisconsin for a little bit, but probably hang out um, in the Boston area for a little bit as well. So, you know, kind of see everyone, see friends from school from Bentley out here, and Absolutely. then go home and, home and see the family as well, so. Well, I'm asking everyone this at the end of their interview. Look back at the year, biggest clown on this hockey team. Biggest clown? Uh, we had we had a good group. We had a lot of characters, but uh, you know, I think I think Murr is a good guy. Okay, you know, all right. With, there so. you go, Justin Murray. Can yeah. you give us a little? Give us a little more. Give us some more insight. Give us some explanation why Justin Murray. You know, he was he was the young guy, so he he was the guy everyone could pick on, and he he always had a smile on his face. So I feel bad for Justin. Why you got to pick on him? Yeah, he's a young guy, you know, just throw him around a little bit. All right, Drew, a great season here in Worcester. Uh, wishing you nothing but the best. Uh, enjoy the offseason. Hopefully we'll see you down the road. Yeah, thanks, Cam.